Hello, parallel to my video tutorials on QGIS, I'm starting a new playlist on freely available geospatial data. The first one is about downloading Allos Pulsar 12.5 meter DEM and is it worth it? Content of this video are as follows. What is Allos Pulsar RTC data? Register at Earth Data site. Search for Allos Pulsar RTC high resolution terrain for your area of interest. Download available data. Merge in QGIS. Was it worth it? Is there any added value? The first question is, what is Allos Pulsar RTC data? First, what is Allos? Allos is a satellite, obviously. Allos is the abbreviation of Advanced Land Observing Satellite. It's a Japanese satellite, also called Daiichi, which is a Japanese satellite that was launched on January 24th, 2006. Allos had a 46-day repeat cycle and operated until May 12, 2011. What is Allos Pulsar RTC data? Creation of radiometrically terrain corrected RTC products is a project of the Alaska Satellite Facility that makes SAR data accessible to a broader community of users. The project corrects synthetic aperture radar, SAR, geometry and radiometry and presents the data in the GIS-friendly GeoTIFF format. The first step before downloading your data, you have to register at Earth Data. You get an Earth Data login account. NASA EOS DIS Earth Data login account is required for downloading data and tools from ASF. ASF is the Alaska Satellite Facility. Registering for an Earth Data login account is free and you do that by linking to this link and you can stop the video and get the link. Once you click on the link, you get this form. You need to fill in the form. You need to pick a username, a password. You need to confirm your password and the password has to abide by the rules listed here. You have to fill in your personal data, your first name, last name, middle name, email, your country information, your affiliation. And if you choose other, you have to explain what other means. What's your user type and your study area. And finally, you click that you are not a robot and then you click accept. The third step is to search for Allos Pulsar RTC high resolution terrain for your area of interest. And you do that by going to the search.asf.alaska.edu slash hash slash. Uh, we are going to do that right now just after uh, explaining some of the things on the pages. First, let me give you an idea about my area of interest. This is called the Golden Triangle. In, it's in the southeast of Egypt. So it's between the Nile Valley and Red Sea and it between two highways in the desert. That area has a potential uh, because it does have some mines and some deposit. The government's plan is to really develop the area having multiple uh, towns and, and ports and so on. So I chose to pick this area since I know that most regional planning students who are looking for a graduation project or a research thesis would be looking for an area like this. It's about 9 thousand kilometers squared kilometers in area it does have so many things it does have a diversity in geology geomorphology uh, land use and so on so it can be a very good material for a research maybe the first thing i would do if i was doing this as a regional planning research i would uh, start by collecting base map data and one of the base map data elements would be the terrain so you get into the site the search.asf.alaska.edu and the thing you have to change here first is the data set and then second you need to change in the filters you need to identify the type of data that you are looking for third you need to identify your area of interest the area of interest can be defined by either pointing using a point or a line or a polygon or a square uh, let's first change the filters this is the dialog box where you pick the high resolution terrain corrected as the data item that you're looking for. Let's go to the page and download the data. So as I said, we start by selecting the product, the data product that we want, which is Allos Pulsar. We might import a file, a KML file of our area of interest, but we don't have one now. We might set the dates, uh, the period that we are looking for. And then we go to filters. Since I already chose Allos Pulsar dataset, 
uh, the, I can choose here the file type because Alice Pulsar does have specific file types. So I'm going to choose high resolution terrain corrected. Now let me go to that area. So that's the project area. So I'm going to look for Alus Pulsar high resolution terrain data that are in this area. So I'll click search. So I have 28 scenes. I can click on any of the scenes and see uh, metadata and the preview, a small version of the preview. I can also click on the footprint. Once I click on the footprint, you see that it gets the corresponding seen and you see also the small preview i can always click on the small preview and get a larger preview with a scene detail and i can see since i have filtered out anything but the high resolution terrain corrected data i can click on high resolution terrain corrected data and click download so now it's starting the download I'm going to pause the recording until I download all the, the files. The files come in TIFF format. I have already uh, downloaded all the files and I have them here in QGIS. This is the area of interest, the project area, and these are the two highways that I was talking about. And this is the area where the project uh, is trying to develop it the, the current let me show you also the satellite image so that you know what kind of area it is it's basically a desert with some mountains and some very nice almost virgin beaches so let's see what we got so i'm going to switch off everything but our uh, terrain data so is the data that I was able to download. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them, uh, merge them into one mosaic. So I'm going to raster miscellaneous merge. And then I'm going to choose all of them. And uncheck Google Satellite and OpenStreetMap base maps. And the data set is actually a signed integer, 16 bit. Uh, I'm going to set a 999 four nines as a, uh, a value for the resulting uh, no data cells and I'm going to I'm not going to save it I'll just leave it as a temp file and run okay so let me remove all the tiles So this is my mosaic. Uh, let me give it some uh, nice color. Okay, so here I have my uh, digital elevation model created from the 12.5 meter high resolution terrain that is available from Alus Pulsar. Uh, let's check the individual stuff here. So you can see the pixel size is 12.5 by 12.5. Okay. One one final one final thing. Uh, let me just export it to become a permanent. I can export it to become a permanent data set. Um, I can have it in GeoTIFF. I'm going to name it dem twelve point five UTM save. So the output is UTM zone 36 north and that's it. I'll just click OK. Okay, 
So now I have a permanent file. I can always copy uh, the styling that I have made, copy style, and then right click, paste style. And then I'm going to delete the temp file that I created first. And now I have my terrain data for my area of interest. I can start doing the magic and it's at 12.5 meter resolution, which is, I would say for a 10,000 kilometer, almost 10,000 kilometer uh, area, it's, it's not bad. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. So we have downloaded and merged our data. We go to the next slide, which is, was it worth it? Okay, to understand uh, whether it was worth it or not, uh, this is the DEM information, which is pulled from ASF, Alaska Satellite Facility uh, page, and it does describe what's happening here. Where, where did they get the data from? And if you read that paragraph, the DEM included in an ASF RTC product, which is a DM that we have just downloaded, was converted from the orthometric height of the source DM. The source DM, uh, which is basically SRTM or NED for North America, to ellipsoid height using the ASF MapReady Geoid Adjust tool. This tool applies a geoid correction so that the resulting DM relates to a the ellipsoid an online tool is available that computes the blah 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 okay so what it does say here is that the dm included is basically the source dm it's just converted from orthometric height into ellipsoidal height that's it and it's resampled to 12.5 meters so um, to answer this question, the elevation data are the same elevation data used to correct the collected data by ALOS. So mainly SRTM uh, and NED are used. So what we are getting is a resampled version of SRTM or NED if we are working in North America. And the elevations are converted from orthometric in SRTM to ellipsoidal heights in what we just downloaded. Whether this this does have an added value or not, this is really up to you and your application. I like the product in a way, maybe if I would have needed to resample my data, uh, at least that saved me some time, but I wouldn't look for a higher accuracy, lower RMSE. Uh, although some papers do claim that they have better RMSE, um, better accuracy basically than SRTM. So that was it. That was all what I wanted to say this time. Thank you for watching and please join me next time. And until then, have a great time.